And this Colorado State team is looking to go dancing for the first time in nine years. Well, Amanda, I can feel the adrenaline from my broadcast position as you take a look at the starting lineups brought to you by Kubota for Colorado State. It is their senior night, so a couple of seniors getting starts you don't usually do. Chandler Jacobs and Adam Thistlewood are both in the starting lineup for Boise State into the usual starting five that Leon Rice leads. 12th state into the usual starting five that Leon Rice leads. 12th year as the head coach for the Broncos who have wrapped up the outright Mountain West regular season title. And he tells us that this is the toughest team he has ever had at Boise and they have had some tough, tough teams. This will be a tough, tough game. We asked Nico Medved how long you're going to leave those seniors in there. He says it depends on what happens in the first couple of minutes. Underway, sold out Moby Arena, senior night in Fort Collins. And a whistle immediately as the tip sort of hovered along the midcourt line. And the clock wasn't set at the right position either. So a lot to sort out because the shot clock shouldn't be at 17 because that would have been the fastest 13 seconds ever. <laughs> Everybody's nervous in a game like this. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got to love it. Nico Medved's done an unbelievably good job here. This is a game where there's a ton of experience on the floor for both teams. There's only one freshman playing in the game right now. Dygan Hart from Boise. Randall Moore gets his hands on it. Boise State has to reset. Emmanuel Aikot missed the first meeting between these teams. And that is significant. It was an overtime loss. Doesn't see the shot clock. Oh, man. I'm telling you, some of the people coming in here when we came in, they are juiced. The fifth straight sellout in the best attendance of seasons. Moby Arena has never had five straight sellouts until tonight. Roddy's off the mark. Kijak secures. Boise State, their balance, as we mentioned, is very, very important. They are a great rebounding team. Colorado State is a terrific, terrific offensive team. Abu Kijad gets the scoring started. The Oregon transfer who had his second senior night last time out in Boise State's win against Nevada. The wings, Kijad and Acott, 6'8", 6'7", long, can defend, and both are big-time scorers. That is Adam Thistlewood. He's a senior who's starting in this game. Armush, of course, the big center. I think he's going to be on Roddy in this game. They're guarding one another right now. Roddy's guarding him. We'll see if it goes that way at the other end. Roddy blocking foul on the ACOT drive. Boise State does a good job of getting to the free throw line. This is a nice move right here. Roddy's coming from the high side and doesn't quite get there. His body is not square inside. That's always a tough call for any official to make. They do call it on the floor. There's Armouche against Roddy. Yeah, this is the, the thing I want to see mostly here. Wayward pass. Turnover, Boise State. He was passing that to you, Chris. Ready for a catch and shoot. First couple of minutes in a game like this where there's such an electric atmosphere, the players usually play too fast, and they're just a little bit out of control until they get started, and I think that's what we've witnessed here early. Get everybody in touch, move it, then get a quality shot. Moore coming off of a great game in a win against Utah State, his first three way off. Did you notice right there, no green shirts going to the offensive glass, and if you leave Shaver alone, that was a tactical error right there. Because he will knock it in from deep. 38% on the year. Said no green shirts for the rebound. I saw no green shirts around Shaver. Yeah. Let's see if they go to the offensive glass. Kendall Moore took that three. This is Stevens four. He's a spectacular player. He and Roddy, the two best on this team. And Roddy gets on the board. 
Notice how he missed it. He mishandled the ball and got it anyway. That is some strength. Boise State's already secured the outright regular season championship. They celebrated with that win against Nevada. This is a team that all year long has been in the moment. Oh, what passing. Are you kidding me? Three guys touch the ball and they get an easy touch. Acott, 14 for both Boise, is a six foot eight inch point guard. Leads the team in assists by far. Wrestling down low, and of course the fouls, something to pay attention to, and the bid for Colorado State is the top option in watch, Roddy. Watch this movement right here. Bounce pass, touch pass, layup. That is a beautifully designed play, and that's that kind of thing, you know, Leon Rice talks a lot about how close this team is. <laughs> Isaiah Stevens. 14 the last time they played averages at 15 Shaver even though he's the smallest guy he's not the point guard on this team as you can tell by that <laughs> the average is 14 they got is the point guard too strong you want to run against them and try to take something early and then if not get everybody touching the ball Shaver's got a hard job guarding Stevens here. That's going to take a lot of energy. This one will be getting the senior night start. Connects. Seven to seven early on. Great atmosphere at Moby Arena. Roddy knocks it away from Armus. It's off the body of the Bronco Center. Colorado State ball. Marcus Shaver is clutch. He's pretty good in the regular front. We see line. Colorado State projected six. Boise State projected seven. Boise State's already wrapped up the regular season. So maybe on their side of things, this is not a game for seeding. No, but don't no. tell that to these teams that are involved. They're very energetic heading into this match. They're not worried about seeding, okay? These players are worried about winning this game. That's all. <laughs> Isaiah Stevens gives Colorado State the lead. You talk about some action in Las Vegas with the Mountain West Tournament. <laughs> Top four teams in this league. And the other guys aren't bad either. Seven straight for Colorado State to get this lead. Nice D. That was a great double team. Shaver, tough look. Up fake, Stevens, a playmaker. Emma Moore, good shooter, knocks it down. He's been around a long time. Seniors played a ton of minutes here. His three-point percentage down this year, but coming off his best game of the year in the win against Utah State. T-Jab short. Here comes Colorado State. They scored the game's last 10. Roddy is fouled on the way to the rim. You love to watch when the ball moves and lots of players touch it. The drive, the help is there, so he has to move it. And one more. That's called one more. And Moore knocks it in. Beautiful play here. Stevens using the glass. Boy, he's a very, very good player. Love his game. Tanji in, number one. He's their explosive sixth man. He and Roddy play well together. Roddy, how do you angle that one past Armus? That's playground all the way. He plays with this serious look on his face. I mean, he is all business. Armus for the response. Count the bucket. Ends a 12 nothing Colorado State run.
high pick and roll goes to his left and that's a really really nice pass Armouche is a powerful player six foot ten 245 he can take care of business in the paint Armouche, nickname on this Boise State team is the beast <laughs> the struggle from the line just 40 percent a little good on that one and Boise stayed with them four. You know, free throw shooting, they're not good at it, but they work at it. At the shooting round today, they have total silence. And they count how many they make in a row, with each guy taking two. The best they did was 14 in the uh, short time they did today. Don't think there will be total silence at the free throw line in this game, though. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this move. Draw and kick, buddy. Gets the shooters rolled as Kendall Moore. They only were 8 for 26 the last time they played Boise from three. And Boise made 13 that night and still lost in overtime. Look at this move. See how low he gets? He is so great fundamentally. And more, the rim was kind to him right there. Look at this. He avoids the charge, delivers it right where it needs to be. Mm. Just have all the pieces for an elite offense. Oh, yeah. They are really, really good on offense. They're good on defense, too. They've won 23 games, right? <laughs> Max Rice lasers it in from the corner. Early in the year, Max Rice did a game at San Diego State, and he played. And he was one for 24 from three point range. He had a, you know, a, a surgery this summer. And he has been very good. Last time these two teams played, he had 17. I mentioned that one for 24 three point start. 19 for 56 cents. So, three point shooting, much better. Much better. Of course, he's the coach's son. Over the head of ACAP. Andre Hudson oh, forces Dagenhart. What are you doing, John? Too excited. And Dagenhart was brilliant. <laughs> I'm thinking Dagenhart is just going to pick that ball up. Instead, he runs in the path right here, runs in his path, throws the foul. For a freshman, Dagenhart knows what he's doing, I can tell you that. Only freshman playing. Nine-time Mountain West Freshman of the Week. Yeah, he's going to be, uh, no doubt, the freshman of the year in this league. Intense game. Usually got to substitute a little more in the first half. Deep look for Rice. Oh, yeah! <laughs> man, oh, man. These guys are juiced. Sharply played. First eight and change. Roddy is not in the game right now. Sean Thomas is. Way short on the three. Rice has already made two threes here in the first half. Acock. Big point guard. Big point guard. And that's what he does. He takes people to the paint and shoots over them. Transfer from Arizona. We got a transfer from Oregon. We got a transfer from Portland. One from East Tennessee State. A foul on a screen by the perimeter. It's called on Boise State. Offense is heating up. The Bronco one has been on fire late. Acott on the move. Rice. No. Boise State has already secured the top spot. And when you look at this, you think about Wyoming at U and against UNLV. That's set already, and Wyoming was hot. And lately, they've been not so hot. They won a game today in overtime. And Bryce Hamilton is the best scorer in this league, and UNLV has been hot lately. We <laughs> talked about that's it good. earlier. That matchup is so good on paper. Oh, I can't wait. Colorado State looking to end an 8-0 Boise State run. Rivera in off the bench. Too strong. Roddy still on the bench. 
Xavier draws contact. And it's a foul on Colorado State. Let's go to Amanda. Hey guys, yeah, I was listening to Coach Rice. He said he's really proud of his team and how fired up they are. The two things he really wants them to work on is getting open more and the rebounds. And we asked him, you know, you're already the Mountain West champs. Are you worried about falling short in this game? He said, absolutely not. We have three keys. We're unselfish, we're tough, we live in the moment, and we're going to live in this moment until the game is done. And the key thing that you just said is living in the moment. They refuse to look ahead. We were talking to him today, and we asked him about the, the tournament, what he thought about the tournament. He says, I, I, I'm not interested in the tournament right now. I'm interested in just this game. And that is easier said than done with young people, with social media, and with, with all the attention that teams get and so on. So they have done it all year long. That's it, no. Player with both the free throws, Marcus Shaver. He was asked about a possible letdown against Colorado State, and he said, Heck no. <laughs> Absolutely not. They're, they're locked in on this game heading in. Tante accelerates. He's the sixth man off the bench for this team. And he has in a career where he has made some tough game ending shots, winning shots as well. So they have a lot of experience, both teams, on the floor right now. Acott is fired up in this game because he didn't play the last game. That's him with the ball. Look at that beautiful pass. Ball movement results in a Smith three. Won't fall. Great dive by James Morris for Colorado State. He had a long way to go, too. He's a seven floor. Stevens pull up off. Transition. Max Rice is feeling it. Third three of the first half. Third three that he's taken, third three that he's made. Acott is working like crazy on Stevens. They know how good Stevens is. Rivera, weight room. Isaiah Rivera. Nice read, too, right? Got a little size advantage. Took Rice inside. Najee Smith, 23, in for Boise. Small forward, but plays big. Able to count it by Stevens. He's got to go. Acott sees it. Rise of fire. Najee Smith, the hustle player off the bench for Boise State, the O'Boy. Saber long two. Foot on the line for Marcus Saber Jr. We talk about how good Boise is rebounding. There's a good example of, of getting an offensive rebounder, keeping the, the possession alive, and scoring out of it. Coach, I'm at the pace of this game so far. Yeah, and these guys are going after it. John Tanjay going after the rim. You better make him go right because going left, he is brutal. Last time he went left, this time goes left again. Notice how he uses his body. And he gets fouled hard and still makes it. How about watching Tanji and Roddy in practice? You got to make sure that you have some medical help during that practice. Man, he is put together. Average is nearly 10, and he's efficient at 47%. Junior from Omaha cannot complete the three point play. That miss means Roddy remains sitting down by the score of Steve. Yeah, very interesting. He's coming in now. Abu Hijab with the basketball was sitting on the bench. He did, he's a very good player. He was only 3 of 10 the last time they played, so they need him to get going. And right on cue. Backdoor. Excellent cut by Kendall Moore. Moore has found him. They'd like to see more of Moore's and more. <laughs> Boise has a 17 to 6 run since Roddy's been out of the game. Slip for Najee Smith. He's made the rim, no call. Isaiah Rivera's turn. 
And off Jacobs, the senior. Morris follows. And it's found on the pass. These guys want to win. Princeton. Stevens experienced. During the course of the year, I mean, Isaiah Stevens has 131 assists. Listen for it. 45 turnovers. Wow. That is doing some work. Top 15 in the nation in assist to turnover ratio. Smart, smart player. Right side is clear. More dribble handoff. Reach in on Shaver. Let's go to Amanda. Hey guys, well, Coach Medved is fired up right now. He said Colorado State needs to step up on defense. They have got to keep this Boise State team out of the paint. And Max Rice, who saw him, he is hot. They have to find a way to shut him down. Shooter coming in off the bench. Three first half threes. Thomas looks for more. That's that great passing, Coach, that you've been harping on. Looks like a drill the way they run it in a game situation. Takeaway for Colorado State. Roddy with only four. When you play, Chris, with a high post offensive a center, the lane is clear. So the, the driving lanes are open and the passing lanes are open. They space the floor so well. Rivera looking for Roddy. This passing just done after done for Colorado State. Not an out, Boise. It's going to be clear. And that's why Colorado State is getting all of these layups. Watch the drive now. The center is on the high post. His man is up there with him. So 33 is not in position to guard at all. It would be advisable, although a little unorthodox, for Armush to play totally off of Thomas and guard the basket to take that away. You know, Thomas is a 40% three-point shooter. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, this is a, you know, I, 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 I challenge that in this game, right? Yeah. Dagerhart goes high to catch. Man, he's some player, isn't he? 6'8", 230. Freshman, knows how to play. And they made the substitution and started him early in the season. They have been winning like crazy. 21-3 and three to be exact. With Dagan Hart in the starting lineup. And he's so good at drawing charges, that time it's a blocking foul. Ooh. That would have been Roddy's second if it was the other way. Dagan Hart jumps in on him. No, that's, that's a good call by the official. He's sliding. He's still kind of moving when he does it. Knocks Roddy off balance. Minnesota product, high school quarterback, back three sports in high school from Minnesota, like his head coach, Nico Medved. First in the one and one. His first team all conference a season ago. He's in contention for player of the year, and what'll be. A race right down to the end. I'm looking forward to seeing who oh, wins that award. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to vote on that one. There's no way you can win. There's <laughs> way too many guys that are in contention there. I'm going to look at your ballot when this is over and see if I'm going to argue with you or not. Just copy off my homework? <laughs> Zone defense, first time. Well, look, working at this zone and shoot around. Little matchup. 
He jab footwork. He wants to play well in this game to show Colorado State that he can do it because he did not play well the first time, and he's played well in almost every single game. Celebrated senior night last time out with the Mountain West regular season title. There's the two best guys working together. Fade away, Steven Short. Aikot, big guard, can see over the defense, sets up key jab halfway down. Roddy's doing a good job on Armus. Armus has not been part of the offense at all in this game. Kendall Moore, hands down three. That's a play that guys who know each other well, they've been playing together for tons of games. Moore and Stevens. Only averages six per game. He has 13 in the first half. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is much less than he was last year. He's just trying to fit in a little bit. He's capable of 20. He's uh, Might have been altered. Great D. Looked like Acott might have held Stevens on the cut to the rim. And a foul call on Boise State. We got excitement in Fort Collins. Stevens to more. Thank you. Seasoned. And what he's done tonight, and as you mentioned earlier, he had 17 in their last game. It was kind of one of those must-win deals. The Boise State fans are used to rooting for a different K more, Kellen Moore, <laughs> all his years as the Boise State football quarterback. Now rooting against a Kendall Moore for Colorado State. This guy averages 15, capable of getting 20 at the drop of a hat. It's a pleasure to watch teams that know one another and play well together like both of these teams do. It's just fun basketball. Now they go 2-2-1 two, two, back into man. So Nico Medved has used several different kinds of defenses to try to throw the Boise State offense out of balance. Oh, man. Hagenhart's in control. Roddy was hard, was... was not wanting to foul him. You know, he knows he's got one. He knows it's a long game. That was a wise decision. Roddy doubled. More sense. Conjay whips. Jacobs attacks. And a charge. Tyson Dagenhart takes another charge for Boise State. He might lead the nation in t charges taken. He gets over there quickly. And, you know, you sacrifice your body, number one, but also it's the anticipation and getting there. Now he gets up and points to the other end like it's a first down. <laughs> this building on the football references. Uh-oh, inside. Stevens is on Dagenhart, giving away four inches. Haber, don't know if that one was touched. They are not with the saving anyway. Look at that ball fake. Steven slices through. Five point Colorado State lead. Zone defense here. Switching off on people. Somebody's got to get open. They're willing to sacrifice an open jumper. Interesting. Another ball fake for Stevens. Tries the English off his hands. Watch Stevens when he catches this ball. He ball fakes to the left. Watch this now. Ball fake left. And that brought Dagenhart to that side of the floor and opened up the lane. Look at that ball fake. That is educated basketball, man. Most guys just put their head down and go. He has been around. Part of this junior class for Colorado State is really transformed this program. Him, Roddy, Thomas, Tanjay, loaded class.
I wish that their Alabama game had not been canceled early in the year. That would have been fun for them. DJ spins to the rim. Count it and a foul. Abu is really a lane player. He loves it in here. He turns his head, spies the defense, and then goes the opposite way. See, Roddy was sneaking over to this side. And then he went the other way. Very nice. Second foul on Kendall Moore, who's had a great first half for Colorado State. 13 points. So he heads to the bench. Double the season average in the first half here tonight. DJ completes the three point play. Colorado State calls timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds from a sold out Rowdy Moby Arena. Great advances to the Missouri Valley Tournament Championship game by knocking off Missouri State. Yeah, and, and Isaiah Mosley, the, the Missouri State player, is unbelievable. He had 40 in a game this year. And of course, Lucas Williamson in Loyola, Chicago, doing it again. Two Eastern on CBS for the Missouri Valley Conference Championship game. Automatic bid to the NCAA tournament at stake. Arch Madness in St. Louis. Love it. They should go to Abu here. Get to the lane. Plenty of time for another possession. This is not good. Bryce has to create. Coach's son is blocked. Colorado State can hold for one. And they will. They worked on this at practice. Roddy's going to fake coming out, and Stevens is not going to use the screen. Stevens! Bullseye! Take too many layups. They need to keep them out of the paint. He says they're allowing them to take all of the shots, and most of them are going in. Boise State's defense has been their calling card all season long on pace for the best defense in the Coach Leon Rice era. But 59% for the opponent is not good defense. It's really good offense by the guys in the green. How about Nico at halftime? He said, fellas, we got to get Roddy the ball here. Right on cue. That was a good look, but a bad pass at his feet. Off balance, DJ. Good D. They collapsed on him. Made him take an off balance shot. Colorado State 16 and 1 when leading at the half. Sanjay! <laughs> Nearly a three point play. Saber's second foul. A mismatch there. Kanje is so much more big and powerful than Shaver. Take a look at this right here. He just backs him in. Misses the shot, but got a good one. So John Tanje, Omaha products. Been moved into the starting lineup as of late. He's starting the second half of this game. Remember, senior night for Colorado State. He did not start. Said Chandler Jacobs and Adam Thistlewood were in the starting lineup. Conjay is comfortable being six man. I mean, he is a guy who is looking to score. No doubt about that. He is a threat. Suddenly, Boise State down nine. Offensive efficiency by the Rams is the name of this game so far. Deep three for Shaver Jr. Tanjay secures the rebound. Passing big men at the high post. Just a rocker dribble for David Roddy.
well for the all mountain west forward Armus will head to the line Roddy understands angles in the paint he's driving here looks like it's going to be a miss he uses his body then watch how he uses the glass there's no way he could get that straight in because he was headed for the baseline She's been pretty silent in this game. He is two for two from the free throw line. Which is kind of unusual for him. Transfer from East Tennessee State. Originally from Serbia. 6'10", 240. Somebody went in too soon, maybe. Colorado State player did. <laughs> That look from a coach says it all. That costs Colorado State one point. Yep, exactly. When you're in the lanes on either side, you cannot leave your spot until the ball is released by the shooter. Attacking the press. Tajay commits an offensive foul, and guess who? Tyson Dagenhart back on the deck. <laughs> this guy knows how to anticipate drives. He is there. You can see his feet are outside the restricted arc. Perfect. Boise State well on their way to their first NCAA tournament since 2015. across the lane difficult shot Rams with numbers Stevens against Shaver circus layup Armour springs it in really got away with an extra step <laughs> give it up good that give the coach a headache watching him do a little bit up and do it Set that screen, beautiful. Perfect mid-range. Armouche did a beautiful, beautiful screen there. Saber with nine. Three-quarter court, no trap. Designed to throw the team off a little bit out of their rhythm. And they're back into man. Andre's been the focal I mean, uh, Roddy's been the focal point. Clock down to five. Tanje has it smacked away. A clean strip from Kijab on an island. This is the wrong guy shooting at the end of a shot clock. Both officials were standing right there, so you can't question it. This is stayed all season long. Has gotten the stops to get the team back into the game. They got off on the three. Stevens, a little too aggressive for this fantastic passes. You know what, though? He's got... 135 assists and 45 turnovers. You don't even question him. He throws one of those away. You live with that easy. Thomas does a good job. He and Moore share the center position for this team. Both of them play on the high post. Both accomplished passers. They're doing a great job on Shaver here. And they do not let him get an inch. Shaver gets it again. Pushes off. They say the off bar created space. And that's a foul on Marcus Shaver. Third personal on Boise State's guard. Action continues to heat up. They shot 60% in the first half, and they're two for three in this half, and two for two from the foul line. So the offense for the guys in the green has been awesome.
That's been their recipe all year long, the Mountain West top offense. And over the past few weeks, their defense has really picked it up. That's why they've won seven of eight. Started the year 11-0 before their first loss to San Diego State. Yeah, and that's when they were AP and coaches poll ranked in the top 25. Look at that thing. Body has it both away. He job lost it. Rams getting back quickly. They got Reddit. Rice. Fortes to the rim. How about that one? Alert play. That's a play that a team that's won 24 games this year makes. That steal in the backcourt like that. They got to change up their defense to do something because they have not done well in this game guarding man-to-man -man in the half court. Rice in for Shaver, the rest of the Boise State starters. We got zone right here. Oh. Roddy teardrop. Nice call by Rice. They changed defense there. That their first possession of zone in this game. A coach can buy a possession or two for his team. He jab, of course. And for Boise State, it's eight in a row. Two guys waiting to come in for Nico Medved. Rivera and Jacobs to give him some energy. Roddy Coase. <laughs> I didn't see anybody volunteering to take a charge on that, did you? Bacon Hart wasn't close enough. Thinking <laughs> of hitting the deck. Conte does. Armour's his foot shot off the rim. Rams push transition. Conte has more. Lawrence three. And Rice is running. Four jerseys back. That was within Rice's range right there. Couple of steps before putting it on the deck. He shakes his head, but it's a Boise State turnover. We've got action in Fort Collins, Colorado. Key jab on the drive. That was an easy one. This guy's coming into your living room. You better move the couch, man, because he will crush it. <laughs> Leon Rice is not happy. I didn't think Max Rice committed a travel before putting it on the floor. Zone defense again. Nice ball movement. Zone opens up. Tanjay zigzags. And gets the bucket. In Las Vegas next week. They just can't wait. <laughs> so much at stake. These teams that are just tightly contested. A couple of minutes ago, a flop warning that was was recorded on Deshaun Thomas. Right. Didn't have that in live play. Free throw there completes the three-point play in Colorado State. Well, here's danger time. Roddy's on the bench. In the first half, when he went to the bench, Boise stayed out outscored him 17 to 4. I don't expect that that's going to happen here because Colorado State is hitting on all cylinders right now. BJ big steps. Foul before the shot. His best thing is driving it. If you can get him the ball anywhere on the floor 14 feet and in, he is going to get something. Right now, they're not shooting. Last year in the regular season finale, he suffered an injury, tore his labrum, and that's one of the reasons why he decided to return to Boise State this season. And boy, the Boise State fans happy he did. Kuzmanovic in the game. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Holy cow. We're seeing a lot of stuff in this game. He was in in the first half some. Number 13. Bob Lake, who's Mavic from Serbia, 33% three-point shooter. 
Doesn't get a ton of minutes. Good help there. Jacobs crossover. Lose an eyes. Gets it back. Mid range off. Kuzmanovic again. Puts it in. Back to back threes for Pablo Kuzmanovic. How about that? Getting them right back in the game. I mentioned earlier they made 13 threes the last time they played, and the game went to overtime. They had not made many in this game, but two added to the total. How about a three from Tanjay? Not quite. Smith touched it, but Stevens was the last to touch. Colorado State's lead is trimmed to two. Kuzmanovic from the top of the key. You don't want to guard me? And I apologize for my terrible joke, but he really is trying to turn up the heat for this Boise State team right now. Well, that's great stuff, and he's been great in the second half. Who's not been great in the second half are Kendall Moore and Isaiah Stevens. They have not scored. They've played almost nine minutes, and they have not scored in the second half at all. They had 13 and 12 at halftime. Moore had a going on in the first half, then picked up his second foul. Finished that half on the bench. I think the defense has uh, shifted by Boise toward them more. He got on opening, but the ball poked away last second. Stevens always has his eyes knowing where Roddy is. And that's the mark of a good point guard. No doubt about it. And he knows who to get the ball to. Drive. Nice hands by Stevens. Caused that. That's good D right there. Always has active hands. Isolation. He's just a linebacker who plays basketball. <laughs> That is one powerful dude. 6'5", 250. And quick. David Roddy doubles the lead. Chandler Jacobs, a hand check foul. That's his third. Watch when he lands on two feet and backs into his man. I mean, he knocks Dagenhart right to the floor here. Not a foul. Dagenhart trying to just get in his way. Roddy's complaining he was fouled, but that's a good no call. So what's the best position to defend him with? Like a center, a, a forward? He's almost too quick for centers, too big for forwards. There's no doubt about that. It's a dilemma. You got to double team him when he's posting, when you play a big man on him. And then I would double team him on the catch. Acos slithers his way through. Where you been, Emmanuel? Not much in the second half for him. And boy, he brought energy. He wants to guard Stevens. His four games in February with a knee injury, including the loss against Colorado State and Boise. Yep. See, no double. And an easy bucket. Yeah, yeah, and, you know. They were practicing today of doubling him when he put the ball on the floor, and nobody came there. He had eight at halftime, David Roddy. Ten points in the second half, and a steal for Kendall Moore. Gets it on the rim in time. <laughs> Energy in the building. DJ with the silencer, Dipsy Doo to the rim. They've won 24 games. They're not going to get rattled. Including seven Mountain West road games for Boise State. Dublin. That time too quick. Armors has that size. When Roddy gets a big guy, he usually moves him by dribbling one way or the other and making a move. That time he just tried to power it up. They got mid-range. Perfect. 
Very nice. He can be spurty, and we're seeing it right here. Armouche is guarding Roddy. Roddy's going to screen and pop. There he is. Armouche rips it away, and the Broncos could tie it here. Kuzmanovic holds on. Better off shooting a three. Acott, smart thing. Coach Rice said, send it down here. Let's get something in the half court. Active hands by Moore again. It remains with Boise State. Colorado State's lead is at two. Defense. Quick hands by Moore. Little is got. He's 19, and he has been over 20 many, many, many times. Beat San Diego State on a loose ball that he picked up while running full speed and guided it into the basket from about 12 feet out. That was a game Colorado State led by 20, and all of a sudden this is a San Diego State late lead. Sabres back in with three fouls and makes an immediate impact for Boise State. He went out with 15.44 to go. So he's been out about eight minutes or seven and a half minutes. His first touch, he makes a three. You talk about a clutch player, man. They need him in this game. Foul on the baseline. And Marcus Shaver had to leave with three fouls, return with a bang. Well, he was pretty open there, and that's perfect rotation. Moore thought that they were in zone, and Tanji thought they were in man. Sometimes that works, but not all the time. See, double it. Still singled up. Nothing you can do. Yeah. I mean, even when you double him, you know, he can just slash his arms through the double team. Once he starts putting the ball on the floor, he is dangerous with a capital D. Moore always wants to switch and play out front because of his lack of size. Hey, Kyle. Couldn't have a good look out of his hands. That ball spun like a uh, screwball by a pitcher. A fake. They faked coming at him. And clearly concerned a little bit about the three. Last time these teams met, it went to overtime. Back to this will run the reverse. We saw a lot of that in the first half. That's the first one here. Four straight for Colorado State after Boise State tied it. This is not a time to panic. It's Shaver time. Crossover step back is off. This will what brings it in. There's a lot of players out here that are fatigued right now. Roddy creates space. Would have brought the house down. DJ bullies his way towards the rim. Foul on Colorado State. The good thing about Abu is he knows what he does well and what he doesn't do well. And taking it to the basket is the name of the tune for him. At the other end, good D, but Max Rice falls asleep watching the ball, not knowing where his man is. Gets beat on the back door cut. Not in the act. Rolled on the floor. Dagenhart, the freshman. They just put him in. Great substitution by Coach Rice. He is vital for them. He talked a lot about his defense and taking the charge and how he anticipates so well. But he needs to step up a little offensively in this game. He can move well without the ball, and his teammates are good passers. 
Dante has Armus. Armus, who averages a block per game, registers one there. That was awesome defense. And not only the block, but staying with him with his feet. He moved his feet beautifully here. Andre was doing his imitation of Roddy on that one. <laughs> Didn't work. Doesn't have the same body. Armus has a small on him. Second chance. He's fouled. <laughs> Punched the basketball yeah. after the bat. He was worried about getting a technical after the play, but he <laughs> kind of apologized right away. My bad. Yeah, he's, he's lucky he did not get a technical. He's being aggressive. He wants it here. I'm sure he feels like he got fouled several times. See, I thought he got fouled on that one. I got he thought he got fouled. He should be taking six free throws right here. He got fouled three times. <laughs> 40% free throw shooter. Strong he, form. Yeah, he looked good in practice today. You know, he holds the ball far away from his body when he initiates the shot. But he has very good follow through and spin on the ball. So Tanji and Thistlewood out. Let's watch his form here. Gets his wrist under the ball nicely. Follows through nicely. I mean, he should be making in the 70s. How about Boise State? Eight for eight from the free throw line. One weakness this year, it's been free throw shooting. It's amazing how few turnovers have, there have been in this game with the intensity with which it's being played. Morris can't untie it. Roddy. One. talk about strength he times it perfectly he's in and among the trees and he gets a favorable roll I mean he got that rebound out of his area as they say it's almost as if the whole crowd just roared that ball in off the rim 10 of 15 from the field <laughs> explosive second half 15 since halftime for David Roddy you know, whenever you talk about players in the Mountain West this year, there's so many of them, but his name comes immediately to mind of the top players in the league. It's almost shaver time. How did he get that one to go? Hits the deck hard. And has a chance to tie it at the line. We are seeing excellent offense by both teams right now. A loss here by the Rams means a win by the Aztecs. As they would be the two seed come next week in Las Vegas. That would have completed a three-point play. Sellout crowd, Moby Arena, over 8,000 on air. 23 points for David Roddy, the man with the ball. What? How did he keep the dribble? Beautiful spin. Alter. Beat down. Tries to secure. <laughs> this is where T.J. does his best. They want him to be in a crowd if he gets to the lane. you got to come and cut off his penetration or he's going to score. Shaver's got a history of ma making shots in the clutch. Armors keeps it alive for Boise State. He was wise to get that back out. 12 on the shot clock. Shaver double, whips, a cut, three ball. The rim. Pjad gets to it first, but then a tie up, and the arrow keeps it with Boise State. Great hustle by Abu. He came from way far out to get that offensive board. Haven't led since the five minute mark in the first half. 
Colorado State, the 17 foul between Boise State shooting the one and one. One more foul to give on the Boise State side of things. After a couple offensive rebounds, Boise State still with a chance. PJ spins, almost touches, and lays it in for Boise State's first lead of the second half. That was totally unselfish. I thought he was going to shoot that, and he dished it. Takes a while for Armus to get that ball up to the rim. Taking heart, body. Experience, inexperience, talent, both guys. And the freshman holds up defensively as Roddy throws it away. Interesting, huh? Maybe you put him on in clutch time. Sometimes you don't use your best defender on a guy all game long, and then you put him at on him at the end of the game. That was very interesting. It was a switch. It wasn't intentional. But there might be something there. PJ can't secure. Colorado State to go in front. Kendall Moore spins it home. They went overtime last time they played. 77-74 final. Rams. Saber off the mark. PJ active on the glass. Oh, Boise State, the best rebounding team in the conference. It's showing out in the regular season finale. Well, Kijab is doing it by himself there now. Bumping on the end in front of Colorado State's bench and Acott's the guilty party for his fourth This is an awesome rebound he comes from out of your screen And then the other way And Aaron pass And Moore is going to finish that every single time Hijab has done unbelievable work on the glass Good numbers for the game all around, right? Five assists, six points, 15 points. He's born in Sudan, moved to Canada, went to Oregon, transferred to Boise State. Again, that last foul on Boise State was Acott's fourth. He's defending on ball. Stevens sidestep from the corner, not close. Morris offensive rebound for Colorado State. For Boise State calls timeout. March in the Mountain West. B Department. They designed a one-on-one -on -one for Kijab. He was doubled. He made the right pass cross court. And they moved it beautifully. And that's an open shot for a good player, although a freshman. Two seconds separating the clocks. Boise State, a foul, sends Colorado State to the line for the one-and-one. -one. Well, you, tr you try to play defense for a while here. See if you can't get a, a steal. See if there's a screen and you jump out and double team. And then if things aren't going well, then you got a foul. Coach Rice looking to get in Max Rice as a late substitution. And it is allowed. Acott has four fouls, so they don't want him to get his fifth. Corner inbounds. Did Rice touch it? I don't think anybody touched it. That is a terrible place to try to inbound the ball. No one was open. 
Roddy tried to use his quarterback instincts from the past and threw it right out of bounds. So Boise, the clock should not start here. I don't see anybody touch it. And it'll be, it's not going to be easy for uh, Boise here either, inbounding from that particular spot. Each team with a timeout. Got a lot of with a couple. They ISOed Kijab on the left wing last time. This time, Shaver's saying, I'm doing it. Lost it in the lane. Shaver turns it over. Kijab fouls Kendall Moore. I think Roddy got his hand on it. So did Moore. But I think Roddy's the one who poked it away. Got part of his hand. Tough to call that in the end if you don't see it. If you're an official, it's easy to call from a uh, replay. But officials sometimes can't see that. They have a different angle. The baseline guy doesn't see it. One and one. It's off. Roddy. Can he secure it? He does. Offensive rebound from the free throw. And it looks like he gets the timeout in. He got it. The absolute <laughs> anyway. For each team with a timeout left and the one and one on each side on the next foul. The straight line play. See that visual signal? Run away from him. Shaver, his fourth foul. And that best free throw shooter, Kendall Moore, goes back to the line. Well, even if Moore makes two, a three can tie it still. So depending on what he does here will dictate the strategy a little bit. That's what Nico and, and Stevens are talking about right now. He may call, he may call timeout if his team makes both. One timeout left for each team. Eighty-seven percent free throw shooter. Sometimes you do your free throw stats in red <laughs> in the last four, you know, the last four minutes of the game. What a guy's percentages. I'm it's, not it's sure different. if they do that or not. It's different at the line. It's his senior night. Some people foul in a situation if you're up three. I would not do that unless it's under five seconds. Boise State does have a timeout left. You foul this guy, and he'll take a three on you and get three free throws. Saber. They call him Big Shot Save. Step back three. Can't do it this time. Colorado State. Wins on senior night.